G'day, g'day. It's Sneak here and welcome to episode eight into our series on Australia's top 10 most invasive species. Now, some of the creatures we mentioned so far, you would have been surprised to see. Some of them are no surprise at all. But today, we're into the top three most invasive species in the country. So stick around, guys. We're gonna introduce you to one that, hopefully, a lot of people would have seen coming. In third place for our most invasive species comes the feral pig. Now, pigs are one of the animals able to colonize pretty much anywhere on earth they're released. There is a long list of countries with feral pig problems. But pigs here in Australia actually trace back to slightly before the first fleet. James Cook himself, Captain Cook, introduced pigs to Bruny Island in Tasmania as he was sailing around the world claiming lands for Mother England. Uh, but with multiple introductions since then, today pigs number about 24 million animals and occupy some around 45% of the country, depending on the season and habitat, things like this. Now, pigs, like a lot of our other invasive species on this list, pose multiple threats to multiple species. Pigs are actually omnivores, kind of like the rats we talked about before. So as far as their damage to plants, pigs like to root up, they basically dig entire plants up, disturb the soil. So this not only kills the plants that they're eating, but it can give a competitive edge to other plants. So things like bracken fern, which are actually a native plant, it's supposed to be here, but doesn't normally have all this disturbed ground to colonize, is able to grow and outcompete plants that it's grown alongside for thousands and thousands of years and smother out other plants that are supposed to be there, creating sort of a monoculture. So pigs not only eat certain native plants, get rid of them, they'll eat any little frogs, frog eggs, turtles, things that they find in the soil at the same time, and they promote the growth of other plants over some of their native sort of symbiotic mates, I suppose. So they can really have an impact by eating plants. If that's not enough, pigs also pose a risk to entire ecosystems with some of the diseases that they're able to spread around through plant communities. But it's their role as a predator that a lot of people are surprised to hear about. In fact, in some parts of far north Queensland, 70% of sea turtle eggs are eaten by feral pigs before they get a chance to hatch. And it doesn't get much more iconic as far as endangered species go as sea turtles. So pigs, because of their ability to destroy plants, uproot ecosystems, eat sea turtles and anything else they find, pose a risk to 149 threatened Australian species today. So there you have it guys, the third most invasive species in the country in terms of its impact to threatened species is the feral pig. One that a lot of Australians aren't gonna be surprised to see on there. They're a feral animal all around the world. But in next week's episode, we have an invasive species that I reckon 99% of you guys will not see coming if you've never even heard of it at all. So make sure you come back next week. But between now and then, make sure you like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, let us know in the comments what you think number one and number two on the most invasive species are going to be. But until next week, guys, be nice to wildlife, watch all our other videos, but have a good one and take care.